What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. So in a couple of days from now, I have the most important exam of my entire life basically here in medical school. It's this two hour exam, which basically decides where in the entirety of the UK we get placed as junior doctors. So obviously I need to study for that and we are gonna be going to enemy territory in order to do it. Not bad, eh? I've come to UCL today because, to be honest, I'm completely burned out from studying for this exam. We've been doing a couple of hours a day for over a month now, and I just, I can't look at these questions anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. I'm over it. So, I figured if I went to a different library with some interesting scenery and places to be, I might be a little bit more motivated and energized to get some work done. Now, the only trouble with that is that this library opens at 10.30, according to Google, and the time is currently nine why did i get here at nine literally no idea i i have no idea you can let me know in the comments down below so in the meantime we are going to go on an adventure and find somewhere where we can sit down and study for a couple of hours before the library opens let's go not gonna lie though kcl kind of needs to step up their game when it comes to their campus i mean look at this <laughs> idea where I am but this looks kind of cool Let's see if it leads anywhere closed door and things ID work here great this doesn't look like a library closed anyway never knew there were so many kinds of yellow all right guys it's official I'm lost very lost I have literally no idea where I am if you're from UCL send me a map of your buildings or something Department of Physics and Astronomy that doesn't sound right all right Let's go ask someone because I can't find my way around. I asked the one other soul that I've seen here today. She said this way, so let's try. All right, looks like the door's open. It's a good sign. Just gonna try just in case. Done. Let's go get cozy somewhere. in the morning which means the library is open which is great because I love studying in library environments compared to those more open spaces where people are more likely to be talkative and a bit more distracting but anyways before we do that I want to talk to you a little bit about this exam so this exam counts for 50% of the waiting of where I'm gonna be placed and working as a doctor over the next two years so needless to say there's a lot riding on the line now the annoying thing about it is that it's very difficult to prepare for it doesn't require any clinical knowledge it's hard to improve with studying you kind of just have to write it and do your best now, before I started studying for this exam, I was adamant that I was going to crack the code, so to speak. I was going to figure out how you can do well in this exam and how you can outperform it. <gasps> Squirrel! Squirrel! Anyways, before I got distracted like a little puppy, I've been doing one to two hours of studying every day for the last month and a half with Kenji and Georgina, and I feel like I've reached the point of burnout with the test. The problem is that we only have two past papers, and so we kind of have to do the same questions over and over again. There are other resources, but they're unofficial, and their reasoning and their rationale is different, so we're trying not to use them as heavily, which means that most of the time we're studying, we're studying from the same material, which has gotten really boring really quickly. So basically today, I told myself that I'm gonna take it easy, I'm gonna come to to a new library that I've only been to before once, get a new environment, try and get a refresh and reset on preparing for this exam. So that's what we're gonna go do right now. Gonna go to the library now that it's finally open. And then in the rest of the day, I'm gonna spend some time with my friends, really relax a little bit so that for the next three days, right before the test, I can go ham. I'll see you guys at the library. <laughs> Translate this for me. Honestly, Kings, you guys need to step up your game for your campus. This place is beautiful. I mean, just look at this place. This is kind of a If you need me, I can still be around with it. Message me on Instagram. Okay. Alright. Yeah, come with me. Alright. 
Alright guys, so very bad news. Unfortunately, I can't get into that library because I'm not a UCL student and they're not printing any UCL IDs today and mine's expired. So that's bad news for me. Hamad, if you're watching this, send me a message on Instagram. I need your help getting into the library, <laughs> into the science library. I'm going to try uh, to go by myself, but if I can't, I hope you message me on Instagram. So yeah, this is where we're going to try and go. I'm not even going to lie. Kings, you are slacking hard, man. This campus is beautiful. Damn. One of the most important people in history. He invented like sterilizing equipment and stuff like that. All right, guys, we made it in, but now I'm completely lost looking for the library. I'll let you know when I find it. I literally just had my bag over there to pull out the camera and look what came crawling out. Oh my God. So unfortunately, I was just rejected from the main library for having an expired ID card. And I was just rejected from the cruciform library for having an expired ID card. So there's one more I can try, which is the science library. Muhammad, I'm gonna hit you up right now. Help me get in. UCL really flexing with who lived on their campus. We made it to the science library. Last chance before I have to go home probably and find somewhere else to study. All right, guys, Muhammad is on route to try and save the day. This is Muhammad. He was uh, trying to help me get into the libraries and sort something out for the day, but unfortunately UCL is, is too strict. They won't let me in anywhere, so I'm gonna have to get the ID sorted and come back another day. But th thank okay. you very much for your help, man. Okay, nice I really appreciate you. it. Yeah, you as well, man. All right, so since I was rejected from all the libraries here, I'm going back to the same place that I was this morning, UCL Student Center, and hopefully we'll find a place in there to get some good studying done for a couple hours. I think that is enough library for me today. I'm actually gonna head over to a friend's house now, grab some lunch, chill, have this little bit of a break in the middle of the day, and then I'll get back to studying later on in the evening. So I'll catch you guys at my friend's house. Peace. I don't usually take two hour breaks in the middle of a study day, but I feel like I've done so much studying over the last, I don't know, whatever, that my motivation levels have just dropped. So I'm taking it a little bit easy today to kind of reset for the next three days ahead. I'm heading home now. I'm going to catch up with Alexia and then I have a mini study sesh planned with Kenji later on in the evening. And then I've got a bunch of other stuff to do as well. So I'll see you in a bit. Nothing like a package at your door to cheer you up. Oh my gosh, guys. So close to the exam. Just one, two, three, and then it's exam day. Look who it is. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. All right, always a pleasure catching up with Lex. Made myself a quick tea. <coughs> oh my gosh, that's way too hot. Anyways, I'm waiting for Kenji to respond to me so we can hop on and do a quick study sesh. In the meantime, I've just been organizing my files and I'm gonna check in again on Discord, see what you guys are up to and what you've been saying. If you wanna join the Karma Club, if you wanna join this great community, you know, link in the description down below. You guys can be a part of the Discord, uh, talk to and interact with me every day. It's just, it's a really good time. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hopefully when Kenji gets back and responds. <laughs> We've got a new member, Jessica. Finally, you're studying pharmacology and physiology. All right. Welcome to the Karma Club. Come on, Kenji. Pick up the phone, baby. Da -da. Da. It's me. Oh, no, you're home, baby. Da -da. You know what, guys? There is something that I wanted to do. So I recently got this magnetic phone holder thing for an iPhone 12 where you can just put it like that and it magically sticks there, which is great because when I talk to Alexia on FaceTime, pick up on my phone, put it there, and then I have it on a separate screen to my computer so we can be doing multiple things at the same time. But I had this genius idea. How cool would it be if I could take my iPad and I could stick my iPad over there? This is my iPad that you guys all know and love. And how cool would it be if I could put it there? Then I could have FaceTime on a really big screen or I could have a YouTube video there or Spotify or whatever. And it would be like this really cool display setup. So obviously this doesn't have those magnets inside, but what I did 
was I picked up some of these guys, which is a small set of like circular magnets that you can stick onto things. Now, I don't have much faith that it'll be able to hold the weight of the iPad, but let's give it a go and find out. <laughs> oh. I'm an idiot. Poor little Foxy, he'll be completely gone. If you've been following me on Instagram, then you'll know how bad I am at peeling stickers off of things. If you're not following me, you definitely should. Somewhere up over here, click the link, follow me there. There's lots of good, good content over there as well. Oh, I like, I was trying to peel off an, a non-existent layer between this white thing when I just have to do this. This is how you can tell I'm tired and it's the end of a long day. All right, let's see if this is, if this even has a chance of working or if it's way too, way too weak. To my great surprise, that has actually worked. Shock. Amazing. Now I just want to close this gap and hide that as much as possible. All right. Success. All right. So I'm here with Kenji, channel favorite. I'm sure you guys know him by now already. If you haven't subscribed to his channel already, do so in the description down below. We are doing some situational judgment test practice. So now the one thing about these questions right now is that they're official questions, but they don't have any answers. So Kenji and I are just kind of YOLOing it and trying to rationalize it to each other. If you guys want to follow along and do the questions as you watch this video, feel free and let me know what you think in the comments. Your number one, I put mm -hmm. as number four. The reason that I did that is mm -hmm. because number one doesn't address the fact that the patient's wife made a rude comment to the nurse in front of you and i felt like to move on without saying anything about it would be like the wrong move so yeah i, I agree i think i think what i think though is that i thought let's deal with the patient first like let's um let's do it so the patient wants to know what's going on and he's obviously really they're obviously really upset and angry or whatever mm. so let's at least you know, deal with a scan, and then as a second kind of priority, to, to me a second priority was the rudeness. Alright guys, and that's me all done studying for the day. Again, another very useful session with Kenji. These things where we talk things out are always very, very helpful. If you want to watch more vlogs, I've got plenty on the channel. I'll leave a couple linked over here on screen. And other than that, I'm going to sit over here and edit into the semi-late hours of the night. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace! Almost got hit by the door.